All right, guys, today we're in the city of Menifee checking out these new construction homes. What do we got today, Jeff? Man, we're at Greenway in Cimarron Ridge. Cimarron Ridge is the master plan community, and these homes here are the middle child of the entire community. They're really beautiful homes. They have single story options, two story options, up to like 3,400 square feet. Let's go take a look at these, bro. Yeah, man, these are really nice. I walked into one of them. This one for me, actually, the Ferndale, is gonna be a blind reaction for me. So Jeff's yeah. gonna walk us through. We'll be handing it off back and forth and we'll go from there, man. Let's do it. Either way, Jeff. Let's go. All right, so this one is probably my favorite model here. It's a three to four bedroom, just over 3,100 square feet, but the layout to me is just perfect. This is grand entry. Yeah, look at that, Jeff. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. So it's modeled as a three bedroom, but this would be your fourth bedroom option. Wow, but that's I mean, really nice. It's freaking huge, that's a huge bedroom. Yeah, that's like a master suite downstairs. Oh, heck yeah, you still have the half bath as well. And then look at this. I have yet to meet anyone who does not like this kitchen. This yeah, thing is really like nice. perfect, bro. The colors, everything. It's just gorgeous, man. All right, man. And so I, I was walking in. I told you I had the blind reaction, right? And you walk in. I love that Pulte does this little section right here. What do they call it again? Like a little, basically, it's like a little office area. So yeah. a lot of people work from home. So they're doing this like standard now. And, and Pulte does this, they do in all the models, the, the, the metals over there, they had that, which is great. We have this big open space, kitchen like Jeff was talking about. What about backyards, Jeff? What do we got in the back, man? So backyards, of course, it always ranges, but you do get some pretty good lot sizes here. That's the best part. Some of them will have slopes, some don't, just depends on the lots. Yeah, I know like the metals, right? It, it's like really wide, it's like 100 foot yards or from like side to side, or is it? Is it a little bit smaller than that? It's a little smaller than that. Yeah, you get over 10,000 square foot lots for sure. Yeah, here's really nice though. I like how they they incorporated the rock here. Well, good, man. All right, well, we got a whole other floor to, to explore, right? Yep, let's go check it out. Let's go lead the way, Jeffrey. All right. Whew. Yeah, man, this is like perfect. It's coming home to this. Let's go take a look at the second floor though. All right, guys, and what I like about this area, they're right across the way, they're gonna have a big sports arena. What are they gonna have there, Jeff? So you're gonna have baseball fields, you're gonna have basketball courts, soccer fields, uh, you have everything. It's gonna be a park, there's gonna be a little walking trail, it's gonna be beautiful. If you've seen Somers Bend, I think we did a YouTube on that. I if you've so. seen that community, the sports park is gonna be pretty close to that. It's gonna be amazing. Man, look at this loft area here. It's huge, bro, it's good size. And the best part about these homes is now they're doing the design packages included. So there's no crazy added upgrade charges, things like that. You're going to get a specific layout for the kitchen, bathroom, tile. You're going to get countertops, all of that stuff upgraded included. Which is nice, bro. You don't have to guess anymore. <sighs> And then the primary suite. I love Pulte restrooms. I don't know if that sounds weird, but they're always spacious, big. They have the tub shower combo. It's just beautiful how wide open it is. Nice big closet spaces. It's, it may sound weird, but this is my favorite bathroom designed by a builder. It's Pulte. They designed the best bathrooms. I love this space right here, man. Got, you know, you got this huge bed right here, which is great. You still have spaces on the other side. I can imagine even, I mean, you could do like a projector on that huge wall that we have over there. 
a TV. This is an actual master bedroom. Like, what does your master bedroom in your house look like, Jeff? We're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I got the typical Almani house. Yeah, Almani house. Yeah, That's what I'm talking so, about, So, you know, right? it's probably the size of one of these bed, bed, bedrooms over here. Yeah. You're like, why are you putting me on blast? I know. We dang. got a laundry room right here, bro. This is the size of our masters in Almani. <laughs> no, no. This, it's right here, right here, right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this is the size of our whole house that we live in right now in the back house in South Almani. So... At least you have a house, Jeffrey. Hey, nah, bro, you got one too. Yeah, yeah, it's getting redone right now, but right now we live in a back house and uh, it's great. But yeah, man, overall, like what's the square footage here? So it's gonna be a little over 3,100 square feet, three bedroom with a fourth bedroom option, two and a half to three and a half baths, but man, it feels so much bigger. It feels really like you're in like a 3,500 square foot house and it's all because of how Pool T lays out their homes. The prices here, you're gonna be anywhere from like the low sixes to mid sixes. You are, the best part is you are gonna fall into FHA guidelines. So you can buy this with three and a half percent down. Wasn't the case before, but hey, 2024, thank you Jesus. All right guys, so just looking at this home, it's beautiful. My favorite part is gonna be the downstairs for sure. I do like it up here. I know the other one, I seen the downstairs, which was okay, but I'm sure the upstairs on the other one's gonna be really good. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, so we got the pine wood right behind us. Jeff, tell us a little bit about the pine wood, man. Man, this one's beautiful. This is a little over 3,300 square feet. You have a fifth bedroom option, which is different than the Ferndale, but the one thing I think gets a lot of people is you get a formal dining room in this one. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, man. Yeah, and I do like the entrance. When you walk in, yeah. you can kind of see the stairs. It looks really elegant. I personally haven't seen the upstairs. I've only seen the downstairs. So we got another blind reaction, man. Let's do it, bro. Let's go. Yeah, the open stair railing all the way up to the second floor, it's pretty impressive. What do we got down here? Oh yeah, I do like that. Yeah, it's pretty, it's sick. You, down here, so this is pretty cool. It's not a full multi-gen suite, but you're gonna have a full bedroom, bathroom, and a walk-in closet down here. No way. Yeah, so you, you do get the feel of that. I think this is perfect for a mother-in-law, perfect for the family. An older teen, like this is a perfect space. Yeah, I gotta say, I didn't know this space was here either. So again, kind of blind reaction, but looking at this, when I see this, this is like the best case scenario with a new construction home because you get the option to do the suite, you get the option to do uh, the restroom. Again, somebody elderly can be down here for a really, really long time until they're... Maybe I shouldn't have put that part, huh? But we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We continue. Let's continue through the hoe. So here is the, the formal dining. And oh, wow. we're gonna get people who say, it's not a formal dining room, but you don't get this in new construction homes. You don't get this small prep kitchen space either. Like you, you get some beautiful house here, man. Right into the kitchen, it flows. Is this flows. a pantry? It is. Oh, nice. It's the flow here. It flows so well. Pulte does an amazing job with that. It's, yeah. You can't go wrong with the Pulte home. And maybe I walked in a little bit too fast, but it's really nice in here, man. Yeah, it really is. Again, we got the section over there, Jeff. We got the section that we're talking about. Yup. Perfect for the younger kids. They can do their homework. While you're prepping dinner, you get to keep an eye on them. It's perfect. Yeah, look at that. And it's a good size. Like it feels nice. The island's really big. All right, what do you prefer, Robert? Do you prefer the sink in the island or out of it? I I like the the, the sink out of it. Me too. Yeah, I like I want to have all that space open. Mm -hmm. I don't want like I like to be on the other side of the sink, kind of talking to people. I mean, uh, other side of the uh, the island. Yep. And that kind of takes away from that, in my opinion. No, it definitely does. I prefer it like this too. All right, here we go to the outside. So this one's a little bit bigger, but it all depends on what lot you get, right? Yeah, it's all gonna be, it, there's some lots here that are flat. There's some that have bigger slopes. It's all just gonna depend. But I mean, still, even with the slope, you got a solid 30 feet, 35 feet, maybe a backyard from the wall to the slope, which isn't bad. 
I can't think of why you would need anything bigger unless you have like five dogs, like some people here. Yeah, you have like 12, Jeff. <laughs> what else do we got down here? So that kind of concludes the downstairs, the living area. You have your dining room. You have the half bath over here by the garage. But upstairs, I really like the loft. Yeah, so the HOA here is gonna be a little over $100 a month. You're gonna get a city sports park, so it's not gonna be private to the community, but city is even better for you because that means you don't have to pay the HOA on it. It's gonna have basketball courts, it's gonna have baseball fields, it's gonna have soccer fields, it, it's gonna have everything, and I'll actually point out the window of where it's gonna be. So right across the street, right over there, you're gonna have your sports park. It's gonna be over there above it, this community here, is actually gonna be a 55 and up community. So, if you don't want your parents with you, send uh, them up the road. So they don't, they can, I don't know the, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so this is a great space. Walking up, I like this one a lot more. About difference from the other one that we just seen. And then I like that it leads into the master bedroom. And this master bedroom is great. It's a typical master bedroom you get in here. I love the extra space there. Let's see the master bath, man. Let's do what it. What do we got? We got the shower. Okay, okay. We got the combo here. Obviously that's something, if you, if you can do it, cool. If not, you could probably set up something a little bit different there, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, there's plenty of space. I mean, you got a huge walk-in closet. Ah, see, you didn't even know I was gonna come out there because it's so dang big, man. Yeah, this is. This is like two Almani Masters. <laughs> this is bigger than my room right now with, <laughs> with my eight kids that I have in there. We're like, uh, you know, Charlie uh, from uh, Willy Wonka, the, the, the chocolate factory. <laughs> we're like, hey, we're all sleeping on the same bed. The bathrooms are so big, bro. They're so wide and Yeah, open. look at that. Yeah, it, it makes so much sense. This is, I say it all the time when I'm in these YouTube videos, my favorite thing is having separation. I want me and my wife to be there. The kids can destroy this side of the house. I don't want to see them destroying it. So you get a really big walk-in laundry room. Oh, wow. It's massive, man. And then you're going to have your three bedrooms here. Walk-in closets. And they're good-sized rooms, man. I don't even think I have a walk-in closet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, and then your third bedroom with the bath down here. It just makes so much sense. And that's like the shared bath right there. Yep. Your kids can destroy this. Elect for no upgrades in there. Just get the basic because kids are, they're going to thrash it. Especially your kids. I've been around them, bro. And I'm just kidding. You got good kids. Man. <laughs> no, what I like too is the laundry room's here. So the kids' clothes don't need to be here. They can kick them into the laundry room and I could hide it when people come over. That is true. You, you got to think of that stuff, man. I'm not even worried about my kids doing it. I'm worried more about me doing it. Oh, when I said kids, I meant myself. <laughs> for sure, bro. For sure. All right, man. Well, close this out up here. Yeah, man. Th this community is beautiful. If you're not in Greenway, you have Pathway, which is a, a lower, not lower end, but a lower price point community. Then you have the Meadows, which is gated. You're buying into the future here. Menifee is the seventh fastest growing city in the US. You're getting sports parks, you're getting tens of thousands of homes being built here, brand new shopping centers, infrastructure. You're buying into something that's almost like a Rancho Cucamonga or like a Temecula. When people didn't want to come out here because it was too far, and now look at their homes, right? 900,000s in Temecula. You're going to get that here as well. These, these homes. You gotta just see them in person. So if you guys are looking for something in Menifee, you already know what to do. Look in the description, click, book a 15 minute call. We're gonna get you prepped to buy a home this year. We're gonna get you prepped to buy a house here. And honestly, like, comment, subscribe, do it all. We'll see you on the next one. SoCal Daniel out.